on this very very cold morning today we'll continue with our book club on the fundamentals of diagnostic radiology after rather long interruption today we'll continue with dr kamil he will talk to us about the uh, the ultrasonographic uh, features of the genital tract teachers and colleagues, genital tract and bladder ultrasound. Uh, female genital tract, indication for pelvic ultrasound, infertility, pelvic pain, and disorder of menstruation, suspicion of a mass or infection, localization of intrauterine uh, contraceptive. Usually transabdominal ultrasound using distant urine bladder, while transvaginal performed with uh, empty Bladder. The uterus is uh, in post pubertal and is smoothly contoured and pear shaped. Uh, the uterus is uh, smoothly contoured and pear shaped. The endometrium is echogenic and uh, Junctional uh, zone, uh, inner myometrium is less uh, echogenic than the myometrium, and the myometrium is of mid-level echogenicity. Uh, at the end of menstruation, the endometrium is discrete and thin, two to three millimeter. Uh, at the proliferative phase, the endometrium assumes three-line appearance, four to eight millimeter thick. Uh, as <coughs> obvious in these pictures, uh, this is the endometrium uh, at the end of menstruation, and endometrium is seen. Uh, <coughs> Endometrium is uh, thin and about two to three millimeter. Uh, while measuring the endometrium, fluid should be excluded. This is the state of uh, end of menstruation. This picture is a proliferative phase, uh, three line appearance. Uh, Uh, while the, at the secretory phase, the endometrium is appear more ecogenic uh, and homogeneous. Homogeneous and ecogenic. <coughs> Leomyomas, common benign smooth muscle tumor of myometrium that develop in women of all ages, may be completely using the myometrium, subserosal, submucosal in location. Leomyomas may be pedunculated, simulating an adenexial mice, but uh, by uh, uh, seeing an, a vascular supply originating from the myometrium at the region sign, uh, it will exclude ovarian origin. Uh, uncomplicated leomyomas may be isoechoic, hypoechoic, or hyperechoic compared to normal myometrium, where complicated uh, leomyoma uh, due to hemorrhoid cysts change or atrophy fibrosis calcification. <coughs> in this image, there is a transvaginal image of the uterus show a hypoechoic gliomyomas displacing the endometrium and impinging on the uterine cavity. This is the endometrium. <coughs> there is a characteristic finding uh, called Venetian blind shadowing. is a pattern of spaced dark lines because emanating from the leomyoma caused by increasing absorption of sound by fibrous tissue within the tumor. This finding useful in differentiation of submucosal leomyoma from endometrial polyp. There is Venetian blind, or uh, it's not in the perfect. 
this this is Venetian blind symbol, yes. okay? So it makes this shadows, which is the same as here. Light volume myoma contains fat in addition to smooth muscle. Is a, a typical leomyoma as I. <coughs> leomyoma sarcoma. Leomyoma sarcoma is a malignant tumor composed of entirely of smooth muscle. It is a primary sarcoma of the uterus. It is a rare tumor. Rapid increase in size of the uterine lesion in a post uh, menopausal woman is the most uh, common diagnostic. Imaging feature of a lab with benign leomyoma. And this image shows the uterus is enlarged by a mass and with cystic, cystic changes. It's a uh, case of leomyosarcoma. Adenomyosis. Adenomyosis is a condition of diffuse or focal invasion of myometrium by benign endometrium, internal endometriosis. It is found commonly in multiparous women over the age of 30. The diffuse form is most common. Localized form result in mass and adenoma, adenomyoma within the myometrium. Several patterns of ultrasound finding. Uh, as in this image, diffuse, sub <coughs> diffuse abnormal hypoechoic or heterogeneous texture of the myometrium. Poor definition uh, or nodularity of the junction between myometrium and the endometrium. Subendometrial nodule cyst or subendometrial hypoechoic striation. This image shows the junctional zone of myometrium is irregularly thickened and poorly marginated and markedly hypoechoic. Thickened endometrium, the thickness of the endometrium must always be correlated with the age and menstrual history and stage of menstrual cycle. <coughs> we discussed it. Postmenopausal bleeding, causes of postmenopausal bleeding occurs in 10% of postmenopausal women. Common cause, Endometrial atrophy, about 70. Other common cause, uh, the endometrium will be thickened. Except endometrial polyp, the uh, endometrial atrophy, uh, in which the endometrium is uh, thin, less than 5 millimeter. Uh, this is a case of endometrial atrophy. Uh, <coughs> The endometrium measuring only two millimeter in postmenopausal women with a vaginal bleeding. This is a diagnosis of endometrial atrophy as a source of hair bleeding. Biopsy is not necessary due to superficial erosion of the endometrium. The causes of thickening of the endometrium includes the following: endometrial carcinoma. As uh, in this case, the endometrium, endometrial carcinoma, the endometrium is thickened diffusely or as a focal mass. Uh, usually more than 15 millimeter in postmenopause. This shows the endometrium is thickened, homogeneous, and there will be vascularity color to <coughs> show blood flow. Uh, other endometrial hyperplasia is caused by an opposite or prolonged estrogen stimulation, and is most common in um, perimenopausal and postmenopausal women. Only biopsy can differentiate endometrial hyperplasia from endometrial cancer. Endometrial polyp is the case of endometrial polyp due to uh, uh, adenomatous hyperplasia of endometrium. Uh, this is a hysterosonography shows the homogeneous mass uh, in the endometrial cavity. Uh, <laughs> Usually, the endometrial polyp is homogeneously uh, uh, echogenic, uh, less than 20 millimeter, and has a single feeding artery, single feeding vessel. Tamoxifen uses it as adjunct uh, uh, therapy for breast cancer. Usually, cause endometrial carcinoma, endometrial hyperplasia, polyp and cystic chain, as in these uh, pictures, uh, cystic chain in endometrium uh, in patient taking tamoxifen therapy. Uh, 
for breast cancer. Submucosal leomyoma uh, cause abnormal bleeding by erosion of the overlying endometrium. It's a submucosal leomyoma abating the endometrium. Uh, differentiated from polyp, it is usually hypoechoic compared to endometrium and more than 20 millimeter and multiple feeding vessel. It has multiple feeding vessel. And a to differentiate polyps from subendometrial fibers, sometimes it's a difficult thing to do. Uh, we can use uh, sonostereography is of very much importance in this part, whether it's a polyp or uh, subendometrial fibroid. We put a catheter, some maybe even a polycatheter in the uh, cervix and stand the balloon and inject fluid saline. Okay, and uh, under ultrasound observation, and you can see the endometrial cavity distend with, you can see whether there's a polyp or a fibroid. I think it's because of fibroid, because of this endometrial. I know, but it's not that easy to differentiate all the time. It's sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. Now, both senses frequently multiple size to two, three millimeters up to four cm. They are nearly always asymptomatic due to uh, <coughs> obstruction of the mucus secreting gland uh, of cervical lining, mucosa. As this picture revealed multiple cystic of various sites. <coughs> Uterine uh, arteriovenous malformation uh, has a congenital or acquired type, con uh, congenital type usually uh, cystic in the gray scale, cystic lesion by color Doppler take vascularity. It's a tangle of ar uh, artery and venous uh, without intervening capillaries. Congenital type has uh, nidus and multiple uh, feeding vessel while in acquired due to trauma or instru uh, instrumentation usually has uh, no nidus. Intrauterine contraceptive device. Complication include expulsion, malposition, and infection, and pregnancy. As this image, there is malposition of IUCD. We have two types: uh, copper <coughs> rapid IUCD and marina type. A copper rapid usually has an acoustic uh, prominent shadowing, but marina need careful. Examination. Marina is so difficult to be seen. Yes. It's very difficult to be seen by ultrasound. Ovaries and adnexia. Normal ultrasound anatomy. The term adnexia refers to the ovaries, fallopian tube, and broad ligament, and ovarian and uterine vessels. Ultrasound demonstrates the ovaries as an oval soft tissue structure with multiple small cystic follicles. The average size for uh, by 3 by 2 cm inside. The maximum ovarian volume for adult calculated by the standard formula length is multiplied by width and height by uh, 0.052 usually reach 22 c cc. <coughs> Fourteen, fourteen. Everyone says, yes. but it's around between seven and fifteen, maybe. Okay, but twenty-two is too much. Okay. Is a ovary uh, uh, of childbearing age and is ovary of postmenopausal woman and of childbearing age indicated by multiple follicles and there is a dominant follicle here while in the uh, postmenopausal the ovary becomes small and lack uh, follicles. After a 
amateur follicle uh, ruptures and release over, there will be a corpus luteum at its site. Uh, sometimes appear as a part of the ovaries, uh, like a, a solid or uh, a collapsed cyst and ring of vascularity present. Our, our may reformat itself as a cyst, and, uh, as like this picture, there is a, a ecogenic content resemble blood. Functional ovarian cyst. Uh, if the follicle, our corpus luteum, failed uh, to regress, functional ovarian cysts develop. Less than uh, 30 milli less than uh, 30 millimeter regarded as a follicle. More than that, as a functional ovarian cyst, identified by uh, an echoic ovarian cyst. On follow-up examination 10 uh, weeks later, the cyst has resolved in this image. We usually follow up it uh, after two menstrual, menstrual cycle. After two months, the cyst uh, will disappear. Hemorrhagic ovarian cyst, if corpus luteum cyst or follicle, uh, Complicated by hemorrhage inside it, uh, uh, hemorrhagic ovarian cysts develop. Ultrasound shows a spectrum of finding. The key finding is the cystic mass with internal echo, accentuated through transmission, reflect its nature. Wall sickness is variable. Blood flow in the wall is commonly prominent. Internal echogenesis depends upon the physical state of the hemorrhage. The cyst may appear solid, but color flow shows no internal blood vessel, retracting blood is present. This image a transverse ultrasound show a complex internal ecogenesis of the hemorrhaging functional cyst. The, the lacy internal appearance is characteristic of fibrin strand within evolving hemorrhage. These two images show the, <coughs> the retracted blood and then, and then, depart, uh, then dependent portion and there will be a <coughs> blood flow in the wall, but not in the retracted cord, as a pattern of hemorrhagic ovarian. Inflammatory, uh, pelvic inflammatory disease, inflammation of the ovary and fallopian tube, usually the ovary evolved or surrounded by a, a mass. At, uh, like this picture, the ovary is surrounded by a complex mass. Endometriomas. Endometrioma is a occurrence of aberrant in, uh, functional endometrial tissue outside the, the uterus. Usually two to three mil, uh, minute uh, deposit uh, at the uh, uh, abdominal cavity, not seen by ultrasound, but due to recurrent bleeding, uh, if enlarged, may simulate tubo ovarian abscess or may enlarge to this a cystic uh, complex cystic with internal uh, low level uh, hemo low level echo resembling evolving uh, hemorrhage. <coughs> this chocolate cyst of endometriomas. Ovarian tumors, whether benign or malignant, are most commonly predominantly cystic. The tumor most frequently encountered as epithelial tumor, serous and mucinous cisadenoma, cisadenocarcinoma, and benign cystic teratoma. Benign cystic teratomas, also called dermoid cyst, uh, usually has three patterns of ultrasound finding. One is cystic. Uh, with ecogenic debris and 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 with uh, an ecogenic uh, solid component and vascular resemble uh, a dermoid plaque. Uh, or may may be uh, other pattern may be uh, as, as a solid appearing <coughs> as a solid with indistinct border due to uh, 
uh, it is shadow uh, due to its shadow and unreal vibration this is typical of a uh, tip of iceberg sign or may appear as a, a complex non-vascular cystic lesion with an ecogenic uh, strand resemble hair and this appearance is bizarre uh, structure surrounded by a f uh, uh, ecogenic fluid. <coughs> epithelial tumor arise from the epithelial covering of the ovary. As a group, they account 65 to uh, 75 of all ovarian neoplasm. Cirrhosis adenoma, cirrhosis adenocarcinoma comprises 30% of all ovarian neoplasms. Cirrhosis adenoma similar to functional ovariances. While cirrhosis adenocarcinoma and multi uh, are multiloculated with thick wall, thick septa, and papillary projection <coughs> into the fluid. Mucinous adenoma and cis adenocarcinoma comprise 20% of ovarian neoplasm. About 80% are benign. Mucinous tumor may be huge, filling the pelvis and extending high into the abdomen. Most have multiple septation, as this image. The absence of detectable uh, solid components suggests benign tumor. Sign of malignancy, solid uh, in postmenopausal usually, solid tissue within a cystic mass, <laughs> size greater, sizes greater than 10 cm, color flow, demonstration of blood vessel within the papillary projection or septation, Risk of malignancy of an ovarian mass increase with patient age increase. Extension of the tumor outside the ovary. Ascites uh, in the presence of adenexal mass. Evidence of metastasis spread, uh, including tumor implant on the peritoneal surface. <coughs> this image, an ovary is replaced by a mass, cystic solid mass, and show vascularity. This is highly indicative of ovarian carcinoma. In metastatic ovarian carcinoma, uh, on the peritoneal surface, there is a nodule take vascularity, and there is a site, a small uh, deposit seen on the inner surface of the liver also. Non ovariances in the pelvis include abscess from appendix or diverticulite, arachal cyst <coughs> from the bladder lymphocyte in patients with prior pelvic lymph node dissection. Our neural, uh, neural cysts like meningocysts that extend anteriorly from the sacrum. Paraovarian cysts account for 10 to 20 of all adnexal mass. They arise from remnants <coughs> of the wall fendict and are covered by layer of broad ligament. They have the appearance of simple cysts separate from the ovary. Peritoneal inclusion cyst <coughs> uh, is a relatively common inflammatory cyst of the peritoneal cavity that results from adhesion that envelops the ovary. The disease uh, <coughs> peritoneal unable to absorb the fluid. That's why the fluid is accumulated around the ovary. If we see the ovary surrounded by angulating our uh, Loculated fluid is diagnosed of it. This is the polycystic ovary. The ovary is uh, stroma is ecogenic, multiple uh, small follicle arranged peripherally. Hydrocentric is diagnosed is suggested by when the masses appear elongated or tubular rather than spher spherical or oval. Folders in the dilated fallopian tube may simulate septa in ovarian tumor, but are characteristically incomplete in hydrocyclics, like this picture. Adenexal torsion is a result of axial rotation of the ovary and over the fallopian tube about this vascular pedicle. The torsed ovary becomes swollen, hemorrhagic, and often necrotic. The ovarian cyst or mass may serve as a leading point. At like this mass, uh, cystic ovarian mass. Uh, the ovary uh, lack uh, 
vascularity there is prominent vascularity around it <coughs> major intent tract testis and scrotum normal ultrasound anatomy the normal test is ovoid and smooth measuring approximately 3.5 cm length and 2 to 3 cm in diameter discovered by dense fibrous capsule called tonica albogena <coughs> The tunica albogena, the tunica vagina is two layer, parietal and visceral. The seminiferous uh, tube uh, lobe is composed of seminifrant tubules. Ricky cases and, and the media uh, sign of the cases and efferent ductule connecting to the head of the epididymis. Uh, usually the test is, is uh, uh, homogeneous uh, mid-level eco texture and the mediastinum of the test is located posteriorly we can differentiate it from other uh, mass like in and descent tests uh, this is a uh, appendix uh, as the bare area of the of the test is uh, in which the uh, epididymis <coughs> crossing. Usually the test is uh, attached posteriorly to the scrotal wall. If this is not present, the uh, bell clopper deformity is <coughs> led to torsion. And this in test is about uh, three of all uh, full term neighbor have an antecedent test. Most of these tests will spontaneously descend by one year of age leaving one person with cryptoorchidism. Spontaneous descent after one year of age is <coughs> unlikely. Causes of acute painful scrotum, common cause, acute epidemiorchitis and acute testicular torsion. Uncommon torsion of appendix epididymis or appendix testis uh, and hernia and hemorrhage into <coughs> testicular tumor. Testicular torsion is a tw twisting of the testes on the spermatic cord, resulting in impairment of blood supply. Venous and lymphatic flow is impaired before arterial flow. Torsion occurs only in patients who have congenital bell clapper deformity. Uh, this image, <coughs> the right test is uh, hypoechoic and enlarged. Absence of vascularity, while the le left test is, is normal. In the case of testicular torsion, there will be increased vascularity around it. Acute epidemiorchitis. Uh, testicular torsion is c most common in patients under 20, while acute epidemiorchitis is most common after 20. <coughs> the normal Test is an epididymis with normal vascularity, and there will be vascularity increase, and uh, the tests may appear hypoechoic and accompanying hydrocele. Color Doppler image in the same patient marked increased vascularity <coughs> in the painful left test and normal vascularity. Uh, in asymptomatic right cases, the inflammatory hydrocele is also present. Torsion of appendix testes or appendix epididymis, common cause of acute scrotal pain in children, mimic testicular torsion. Ultrasound image that enlarged more than 5 mm hypoechoic spherical mass, medial or posterior to the epididymal head. Color Doppler show no flow within the mass but increased flow around the mass. Scrotal mass, we have list of malignant and benign. Differential diagnosis of extra testicular lesion, extrinsic to epididymis, scrotal fluid collection, hydrocyl, hematocyl, biocyl, varicocyl. Epididymal lesion, cyst, spermatocyl, epididymal thing. We will talk about it. Seminomas constitute about 40 of germ cell tumor, less aggressive and are resistant to radiation, sensitive to radiation therapy. Ultrasound demonstrates the tumor to be homogeneous and hypoechoic. This is the, <coughs> the tumor and homogeneously because it's mostly com uh, composed of 
Bu ne oldu? Selüler. Cellularity. While non-seminomatous tumor include a variety of germ cell malignancies that are more aggressive and more resistant to radiation therapy. Most tumors are of mixed cell type and the tumors appear of cystic and solid and variable appearance. Leukemia and metastasis from other primary tumor are more common than germ cell tumor in patients over the age of 15 years. Involvement of the testes may be diffuse or focal. Tumor are usually of lower ecogenicity than the normal parenchyma. The normal testes and the involved testes by lymphoma appear enlarged and hypoechoid. Testicular microlithiasis as diffuse punctate non ecogenic calcification is present and is of no clinical significance but may uh, it is a benign condition uh, and has a risk of uh, CA. Benign testicular cysts are incidental finding in 8 to 10 percent of male. Cysts of tun uh, tunica albigina are well defined uh, two to five millimeter and usually peripheral. This is a benign cyst of testicle. Dilated reticulosis may mimic a complex intratesticular mass but lack vascularity. Nearly all cases are associated with abnormality of the epididymal, including like uh, spermatoserepididymal cyst. Uh, orchitis and abscess. Uh, most inflammation of the testes are associated with epididymitis. This is an abscess. It's a cystic uh, lesion with uh, thick fluid content. Testes infarction may result from torsion or trauma. The infarcted appear as a, a focal low density area or diffuse low density. Is it written in the book? I don't know. It's in the book. CT tear. Segmental infarction appears as a wedge-shaped avascular intratesticular lesion, as like this. Trauma and hemorrhage is a setting of trauma. The role of imaging is to detect ruptured testes. Most 90% ruptured testes can be salvaged by surgery performed in the first. Uh, 72 hours. This is a fractured test. Uh, the uh, it's outline distorted uh, and uh, areas of hemorrhage seen. Scrotal fluid collection. Hydrosis is the accumulation of serous fluid between the visceral and parietal layer of the tunica vagina. The common cause painless scrotal swelling. Scrotal calculate appears as a mobile ecogenic foci that moves move freely in the space between the layer of tunica vagina. It could be related to previous epididymitis. No, of no clinical significance. Varicocele <coughs> are dilated serpiginous veins of pampiniform plexus. They occur in <coughs> the most common uh, correctable cause of male infertility. Acute onset of varicocele in adult male aged for tears, our older may be sign of neoplastic obstruction due to obstruction of vein. Scrotal hernia may contain omentum, small bowel, or colon. Omentum in the hernia is ecogenic, like in this picture. May contain blood vessel, shown by color doctor. Bowel in the hernia appears as a tubular mass containing fluid and air bubble, sometimes peristalsis C. Cystic epididymal lesion, spermatocele arise from the obstructed efferent ductule at the epididymal head, while epididymal cyst contains serous fluid and may occur anywhere along the course of the epididymis. This is a spermatocele. Fournier gangrene is a rapidly progressive polymicrobial necrotizing fasciitis involving the scrot uh, scrotum and perineum, high mortality rate. 
is a surgical emergency. This is of older men with immunocompromised gas in the scrotal wall and superficial tissue of the peritoneum are hallmark. <coughs> the ecogenic uh, foci with reverberation artifact due to gas in the soft tissue. Prostate. The major indication for the transrectal ultrasound of the prostate is gland is to guide needle biopsy for diagnosis of prostate cancer. Additional indication of for ultrasound, detection of abscess, infertility, examination of posterior urethra. The normal ultrasound anatomy. By transabdominal uh, appear as a uh, oval gland at the, at the oval uh, organ at the base of the urinary bladder. While this is uh, a uh, transrectal ultrasound, this is a rectum posterior and the anterior abdominal wall uh, the part of it is anatomy could be also not differentiated well but could be differentiated this is the peripheral zone the central zone the appear fibromuscular stroma prostate carcinoma screening include digital rectal examination and serum prostate specific antigen to be elevated this is a case of uh, enlarged prostate in the partial filling your urinary bladder, the prostate enlarged and elevates the base of the urinary bladder uh, and the vesicular <coughs> urethral injunction appear as a V-shaped. Uh, we see the urinary bladder wall is thickened also. Unfortunately, ultrasound as well as MRI and CT has proven incapable of differentiating malignant from benign prostatic disease. Ultrasound finding associated with prostate cancer, uh, this uh, indistinct hypoechoic nodule, poorly marginated hypoechoic area, mass effect on the surrounding tissue, asymmetrical enlargement of the prostate, deformation of prostatic contour, heterogeneous area in the homogeneous gland. These features are non specific. Benign prostatic hypertrophy in a is a nodular hypertrophy of the glandular tissue of the transitional zone. Is the image is the peripheral zone, the inner gland zone, uh, uh, show enlargement BPH, and there is a small cyst here. Prostatic uh, calcification occurring in increasing frequency in older men, not significant. Acute prostatitis is usually caused by E. coli. The gland is swollen and edematous. Prostatic abscess is demonstrated by ultrasound as a focal collection of ecogenic fluid in the gland. Like this picture, there's a, a, a fluid, thick fluid collection, a transrectal ultrasound. Prostatic cyst, uh, uh, prostatic cyst are relatively common finding. Uh, utricle and murine index in median location. Other cysts uh, are, are peripherally located. Uh, both uh, may be asymptomatic or associated with urinary agency or obstructive symptom. Cystic degeneration of, of benign prostatic hypertrophy and retention cysts occur away from the midline. <coughs> bladder, the urine filled bladder is a thin wallet and contains anechoic urine. The normal wall measures 3 mm when bladder is distended, 5 mm when collapsed. Ecogenic urine is caused by suspended particulate matter, caused includes concentrated urine with crystalline debris, hematuria, or pyuria. This is a case of cystitis. Uh, there is ecogenic floating echoes with layering fluid. Bladder diverticuli appear as a fluid filled sac that project from the bladder wall. The wall of the diverticulum lack a muscle layer and is thinner than the bladder wall. This is a diverticulum. Sometimes uh, the defect couldn't be seen easily by ultrasound. Simple erythroceal produce small oval fluid filled mass projected into the bladder lumen. The size of the erythroceal change as it fill and empty with urethral peristalsis, at usually at posteriorly at the vesicular urethral junction. Bladder carcinoma appear as a polypoid mass or a focal, multifocal, <coughs> or diffuse thickening of the bladder wall. An irregular papillary surface of the tumor may be evident. The tumor may be single or multiple occur with increasing incidence with diverticuli. This is a bladder <coughs> mass polypoid with vascularity coming from the wall. This is a case of transitional cell carcinoma.
urethral diverticula present with a symptom of urine dribbling, recurrent urinary infection. Ultrasound reverse cystic mass below the bladder containing ecogenic urine. This is a <coughs> cystic mass uh, inferior to the bladder. This may cause uh, urinary symptoms. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice uh, uh, forecast. Uh, <laughs>